hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. Um, please forgive me. I thought I put the link underneath the, the video to book a personal reading with me and apparently I didn't. So it should be there now. Uh, I, I must have just forgot to put it back. But anyway, um, welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you uh, are, you might be enjoying your birthday today. So happy birthday. Today is September 22nd. So you might be some cuspers here. We're coming to the end of Virgo season. I think one more day and that's it. Um, so yeah, let's take a look and see what your weekend love messages are here from September 22nd to the 25th and happy birthday weekend for you guys. Okay. All right. Let me see. You have clock stabbed in the back, heartbreak, taking some time to heal. Okay. Taking this weekend to just kind of regenerate making healthy choices all right so your weekend looks like you're taking some time out okay over this weekend to take care of self which is lovely okay um hmm somebody's looking at their clock right now okay hmm interesting maybe it's nine o'clock or a quarter to twelve so let's see you're making some progress yeah you know virgo this whole self-love, self-care thing, um, you may be already on that path, but it looks like, um, now I'm just hearing <laughs> some physical pain from if you're doing any kind of exercises, so be careful over the weekend, like pace yourself, don't overdo it, don't overtrain, don't overkill yourself, that kind of thing. Um, Some of you, uh, it's such a strange message. Some of you, if, if you do any kind of exercise, be careful. You might separate um, maybe a injury or something. Not major, not major, but just be careful. Just take care of yourself this weekend, especially if you're doing any outdoor activity. If you're going anywhere, um, if you're doing anything that requires physical exertion, just I'm just hearing, just be careful. Make healthy choices. Some of you, I see maybe you're choosing healthier foods, um, choosing a healthier mindset over the weekend. And so I'm feeling like you're just taking this time for the weekend to heal and do what you need to do for self. And that is amazing. That's just the basics, right? So when I was shuffling, the King of Cups fell out here. All right, so there may be a King of Cups showing up over the weekend. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. It's generally Pisces, um, but it could be any of the water signs. Let me take a look and see what other messages are going on here. All right. Knight of Swords. Okay. Hmm. So when I say the King of Cups, um, this person could be any sign, but they are showing up as someone who they're showing up in water element. Okay. Um, very kind. I feel patient. Someone who's very emotionally intelligent showing up here. Knight of Swords energy. Uh, there, there Maybe there's some travel with this person or communication. Um, something along the lines of movement in regarding in regards to this person okay um some type of communication fast communication showing up here from this person over this weekend let me just hold on a minute somebody's got all right i do all right so i'm hearing um this person wants to make a point okay um and they're very strong about some type of conviction or something that they want to say. So they have a point that they want to get across and they want to be heard. Okay. <laughs> That's very interesting. Um, some of you have someone showing up also over the weekend who is... Uh, showing up with uh are there maybe you might see them in a vehicle or see them in a car or a truck or something or some kind of a vehicle they they show up let me see maybe you see them on the road <laughs> why is this significant i have no idea um okay some of you might be hmm, 
seeing or passing someone or seeing someone on the road that maybe hurt you previously or something might have happened and then you haven't seen them for a while and then you're out and you see them or this person uh there may also be a drive by your house <laughs> whoever this person is some kind of drive by also there's several different messages i'm getting here so you know you can take them all um, if it's future prediction, it's not going to resonate because uh, it's only going to resonate after it happens. So let me see what else is going on here. Oh, wow. There's so much travel connected to this King of Cups. Okay. Why? Um, what's going on here? Give me a sec. All right. Wow. All right. So... For some of you, you, could be meeting someone over the weekend as well. This person's single. They have lots of money. They're very independent. They may not be single, but they're very independent. Um, hmm. And you know, it's interesting because this is your card, Virgo. And this is like the king and then the maiden or the queen and the prince kind of energy. Ah, yeah, I'm just getting this sense that somebody wants to talk to you over the weekend. What do they want to talk to you about? Let me try and see here. Because you're looking good. I feel like someone is kind of looking out, trying to see you, or they might message you or, or send you or call or something and waiting for you to give them a call back. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh my goodness. Five of Pentacles. So somebody, Virgo, <coughs> excuse me. I feel like someone's going to like try to communicate with you or come see you. Either they're going to say to you, why did you abandon me? Or um, they're going to tell you that they're, or, you know, that they, ha they feel lost without you. Is it like some kind of declaration of love or something along the lines of like, They've been out in the cold. They've been away. It's like barren. There's nothing out there. And there's this coming back or coming in. So is it a past? It could be. It could be just someone that you connect with who's trying to have some kind of, um, you know, you meet them and then, you know, they've been traveling and now they're on their way. Like they just got back. It's very interesting. It's a little strange, but I do feel also that this person uh, it's mostly this person is single okay um okay hold on now i'm getting another message are some of you um looking at cars this weekend or going to buy a car i know i am so this definitely resonates to me here which i don't usually do that in my readings but i'm like holy crap um and this person going to give you a really good deal or you're going to negotiate a really good price on a vehicle if you're looking for a new car this weekend or if you're doing a search i feel like this person is honest coming in if that's the situation like you could trust them they're they're very like understanding and patient if you have some financial issues even if you don't i feel like this person um comes forward and wants to like they're just true and honest. Like, I'm not getting a sense this person wants to try to, like, swindle you. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Six of Swords. So there is a tremendous amount of travel energy. I don't know who this person is. Okay. But somebody's coming to see you this weekend or is reaching out and connecting you, connecting to you um, while you are doing your healthy choices, being happier, self-care kind of energy, taking some time out, progressing in whatever you're doing. I'm also hearing whatever it is that you're doing, you're making progress. Um, don't quit. Um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Maybe you're doing sprints. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Take your time. Don't overdo it. Don't like um, wear yourself out too fast. Just pace yourself, I'm hearing. Okay, so yeah, you've got somebody here going through, uh, willing to make some kind of change or some type of um, compromise in some way. They want to talk to you, okay? So let me see. Now, this could be in regards to love. This could be about business, career, um, 
uh, a family situation, anything like that. Uh, it, it's like a broad realm. And I know I'm talking to a lot of people, so I'm going to try and get all of you covered. But yeah, I do feel like there's, I will say this, okay, there's no um, romantic thing going on here. This is just a connection, okay, of some sort. Now, I'll keep going into the reading and see what else comes up, but the King of Cups is the romantic, okay? So this person shows up as either romantic or very caring, um, heartfelt, genuine type of an energy, but we'll see what other messages are coming up with this person here. Okay, wow, King of Pentacles as well. All right, I don't feel like that's you. Oh, and the Queen of Swords, wow, okay. What the, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you also have, over this weekend, you have, it could be you and an air sign, or you and an earth sign. We also have Libra. Uh, there's definitely some truthful loving communication happening over this weekend <clears throat> and this is either uh between you and another person and for others you're getting an invitation to a wedding over this weekend okay it could be two friends of yours you, you receive some type of um formal um piece of mail or an invitation okay that's going to come to you about somebody two people who are getting mar uh, getting married you might also have a conversation with a friend who tells you that either a they want to marry someone um, and they're just going down to the courthouse type of a deal and they want you to come and witness or be you know yeah witness or they there's a conversation um, about two people who are getting are getting married okay are gonna tie the knot all right for some of you right so it like i said when i do the weekend messages like this there's a whole bunch of different messages so see how things play out here you go four of wands so yeah there's there's people are getting hitched now for some of you there could be a conversation from someone who towards you who is offering or sending some type of a sweet message or maybe an apology um, about canceling an engagement or canceling wedding plans. And it's, let's just go and get hitched, like immediately tell the family. So for some of you, you know, either an apology or an offer is coming in. Yeah, oh my gosh, Knight of Cups. Yeah, okay, so this is going to play out a few different ways. If it's not you getting it, you may hear or know about somebody who's, you know, getting proposed to or something to do with a wedding. It could be a couple of friends or family members or work colleagues or something along those lines. It, you get an invite, okay? You get an invite. Let me see what else is going on. But for others, you, um, you're, you're, you're getting an offer as well. Okay, so like I said, let it play out, see how it goes. And for some of you, none of this is going to happen, okay? So just keep that in mind. Don't be discouraged if it doesn't happen. We'll check your reading for next week, okay? Let me see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. Oh my goodness. What else might be happening for Virgo over the weekend? Okay, Four of Cups, Queen of Wands. A lot of, a lot of people showing up this weekend. High priest. Oh, okay. Um, some of you might have um, a male or female fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who um, there's something to do here with religion or some type of spiritual. This person is connected to either some kind of religion or a spiritual thing, but there, there are some options here. Let me see what is going on with this Four of Cups. You may have plans over the weekend to attend some type of spiritual event. These might have been plans that were made previously, and someone may not be able to go this weekend, okay, for some of you. Okay, yeah, there's some communication. 
uh, this person asking you if you want to attend some kind of spiritual thing, right? So again, it could be it could be going to synagogue, it could be in a church, it could be um, a spiritual community event. Doesn't have to just be. It's just anything under the umbrella of spiritualism, okay? Whatever it might be, I feel like. Let me see. Uh, you've got someone here who. Um, I mean, it could just be a festival, like, or a fair or something where, you know, like, um, why can't I talk today? Um, like a, uh, maybe a psychic event of something like that, that you are looking to go to or something. There's a conversation that happens over the weekend with another person that they may not be sure they can attend or they are not sure when the date is. This could be something that you're doing. You could be um, be a vendor at something, okay? So there's a little bit of like uncertainty in regards to this event. Okay, hmm. five of cups, okay. Someone may regret to inform you that um, you won't be able to participate in this particular event, but you could participate in the next one. We're all booked up, I'm just hearing. Something along those lines. What is this? I want to check out this Queen of Wands and see what these messages are. Okay. Oh, Queen of Wands and a King of Wands. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is someone that's like... It's either two people that are connected to this or one person, male, female energy. Um, Page of Pentacles, this is kind of like giving you your deposit back or um, telling you what the plans are. And this is connected to money or finances. Maybe you are, you're doing, maybe there's, uh, for some of you, there could be like a donation of some sort. This might have something to do with a donation or lack thereof. Okay, these messages, you guys, are extremely specific this weekend. So take what resonates afterwards. Uh, some of you might just know exactly what we're talking about. Let me see the high priest and the hangman. Okay. Yes, the high. Oh, very spiritual. Okay. Hmm. Now, some of you might be doing some kind of physical labor. Um, in regards to okay they're just saying there's a job that's not complete yet it's been delayed is what I'm hearing some type of physical labor or a job of some sort that's not complete it's almost complete but there will be a delay and it has to do with the cost of lumber I'm hearing um, there's not enough money of some sort or the cost of supplies or low supplies or lack of supplies in order to finish some kind of project or job. Okay. So you may find out over the weekend, um, if you have anything to do with that, it's going to be delayed going forward. Okay. Now, what else am I getting? And I'm going to really try to dig deep and into it here. I'm also picking up, there is... With this Ace of Swords, some truth coming to you over the weekend that I feel like you, you may be undecided because there's a feeling of hurt or pain connected, okay? Um, so either somebody comes in and asks you a question or they tell you they have an idea or they've been thinking about something and they bring it to you over the weekend and you might just be either indifferent to it or you might say, I'm not sure, I have to think about it. It might drain you a little bit emotionally, this um, something that somebody initiates here or even some idea that you get over the weekend. Uh, there's a lot of thought that's going to go into this um, and also some struggle because there's a part of you that says, if I don't do this, I might regret it later. And that is part of the decision. Will I regret doing or not doing this? So I feel like your weekend 
whatever's being presented to you or whatever you think about, make sure I feel like it seems like you're not going to make this dis like concrete decision about something over the weekend. I feel like you're going to just kind of sit on it for a minute or sleep on it because you don't want to go forward with something and say later, oh, I shouldn't have done that. You know, like I, I feel like you really want to sort through it before you make a final, like before you give a yes or a final decision about something here. And is this a big decision? Well, if it's affecting you to the point where you have a fear there might be a regret, then yeah, it seems like a pretty major decision that you're going to be making here over this weekend. So let me see here. I want to look at the Hierophant and the Moon. Okay. Some of you are questioning. <clears throat> well, we'll be questioning over the weekend intentions by somebody who sits in a position of like hierarchy. So what do I mean by that? It could be a teacher or a professor. Uh, so some of you are intuiting some deception over mm, in regards to someone who preaches, like preaches either to a congregation or people, it could be a politician. Um, there's, a, there's this kind of like subterfuge is that am I saying that right subterfuge there's something under lying underneath that you're trying to get an answer to in regard to it's either an institution oh the lawnmower guy is really lo loud um hold on he's like right by my window what the heck dude you hear that sorry <laughs> it's crazy the lawnmower man um yeah, okay, so it's either an institution or a corporation. It could be a particular person. It's some something along those lines that it, there's deception in regards to this uh, illusion. What's going on here? Okay, yep, Page of Swords. So you're trying to get some answers. You're, you're very curious about this thing. Maybe it could have something to do with voting. Um, maybe you're... Uh, something to do with whether or not you want to vote about something. You're trying to investigate. This is what I see. Uh, you're trying to get some answers in regards to a person, place, or thing who sits in a position of like either teaching or spiritual or a politician or someone who is very traditional or like a, a rule maker, that kind of thing. So I, I really feel like there's this... You have your dukes up, I feel, in regards to this. or it could, For some, it's something to do with your career, your work, or a place of work or employment where you're not trusting something. It could have something to do with health insurance or, um, um, you know, of course, if you live in the UK, it would be a little bit different. But it's it's kind of like, oh, man, it's like a, like a tra tradition, like rules. They're going over fine tooth comb going over the reading the fine print trying to get some information because something you're not trusting something over the weekend so i feel like you're that might have something to do with this clarity here like a major decision that you're making okay these these messages are so across the board and they're very specific and i feel like um uh, the majority of the message here for you is like do your due diligence to investigator to find out before you sign anything okay especially we're still in the mercury retrograde so that could backfire on you <laughs> the general rule is don't sign anything don't like contracts or anything like that or make major purchases or anything during the mercury retrograde um but you know as you know oh the lawnmower guy's back again like what are you going to go over the same patch of grass a hundred times? Anyway, um, yeah, don't sign anything. Don't make any major purchases. Now, of course, you have free will. You do what you want. If you trust yourself, if you feel that this is good, then obviously to hell with Mercury Retrograde, right? Um, let me see. Let me get another message for you and see what else is going on over this weekend. 
Um, I just heard somebody might be getting a small procedure on their back or is making an appointment to do something along those lines. For some of you, it could be some acupuncture, um, maybe some spine manipulation or doing something, um, maybe a, seeing a chiropractor over the weekend, um, something along those lines, okay? And somebody's going to crack your neck or crack your back and it's blah, <laughs> that kind of energy. Um, I do feel like still that original message about maybe some pain or something. Um, there could be a small, um, you know, little uh, injury or something. Um, there might be, um, they just gave, wow. Uh, they just gave me, I don't know what that, that procedure, is it angiocentesis, a procedure? Or someone's getting um, maybe an epidural, somebody's getting an epidural or is getting, um, or is thinking about that, or talking to, uh, if there's a pregnancy, or talking to physicians about that, or other options. Also, um, maybe something to do with spinal fluid, or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be you. This could be like someone that you know, um, you know, or, or is asking you questions about something like that. Okay. I want to see what else. Some of you are just cutting up a whole bunch of vegetable this this weekend for something, maybe <laughs> making something. You're cooking something, maybe a big event, or you're doing something like that. Be careful when you're cutting. It's you know don't you want to get like a paper cut or just you know slice your finger a little bit. Just be careful. I now they're giving me they're sh bringing me to the clock. What else is going on with this clock? Mm, okay, well that makes perfect sense. Knight of Pentacles, with this clock is, is patience. You need to have patience. I feel like I said that already. You need to have patience in regards to something. Um, there's definitely going to be a solid offer coming into you or coming to you that's going to be made. Um, I don't know if it's going to come in this weekend. For some of you, there is this marriage thing or this uh, commitment thing happening. But for others, um, I, I feel like if there's money owed to you, it's coming. Um, you have to be patient, though. Okay? Everything happens in a time cycle. Um, if you're owed money or you started a job or something along those lines and you haven't gotten paid yet, um, you may need to check and make sure your pay date is correct. You may thought it was every week and maybe it's only once a month. So you might be like, oh my gosh, why didn't I get my money or something along those lines? Okay. The magician is here. Why? What's going on with the magician? Okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> So I feel like there's, I feel like um, you're, you're going to receive some kind of um, stip, 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 wait, stip, stipend, is that the word? Some kind of, some kind of payout or something? S uh, not a lot. It's more like a gift. It's more like um, somebody's going to drop some coins in your your coin slot over this weekend or donate or help with something um you could also be involved in some type of donation or charity thing over this weekend you might go to some kind of show or something that's like not for profit type of a thing um where there's no cost to get in but you just donate to get into this this event it doesn't have to be a show but it's some kind of an event um how's that gonna turn out let's see oh okay this might be a mental health event of some sort or something to do with um as pediatric awareness month i think could have something to do with that here in the u.s there could also be um Some of you are going to visit someone who's incarcerated also. Um, and someone who is also incar incarcerated. 
somehow there's going to be some money coming to you from that person. <laughs> I have, I don't know anyone incarcerated, so that's not my read. But there is, there is some type of gift or charity or or some type of um, monetary expense, uh, not expense, but gift. I feel that's either you're going to share or you're going to receive uh, and there's also something to do here with children as well there may be like um somebody might be bringing their child who has some mental uh blocks or restrictions um to see a specialist and um i feel like some magic's going to be performed over the weekend or there's an somebody makes some kind of an appointment of some sort to start something up here for a child or children wow okay ace of pentacles yeah this definitely like so if that in the in the the realm of like a medical thing perhaps with a child or children there's like uh there's you're not gonna have to pay for anything that's basically what i'm saying you're, you're not going to have to fork out any money to get okay yeah that's a real strong message with the sun here and there's a child there little i'm seeing a little boy with blonde hair here um this is freedom success so if you've got something going on here with a child or um i know some of you are a lot older it could be um also grandchildren it could be friends children or child or anything along those lines where there's you and another child uh it could be something that you're doing maybe a um a a fund or GoFundMe or something it's going to go very very well with this now I know this is kind of a romantic reading it's supposed to be but I touched on I feel like a lot of different areas here so I just wanted to try to give you guys all the messages let me see I want to take a look at the romance angel messages okay retreat time to disconnect from the world and that resonates with the first three messages like you are pulling away some of you are like i said look there's going to be some kind of like a wedding thing going on here over the weekend maybe somewhere in the woods uh, disconnecting from everyone okay okay calling in your soulmate all right some of you are going to be connecting with a soulmate over this weekend if you're doing anything you're walking i just kind of see you walking through like um a beautiful enchanted fairy tale type of a forest or something like that if you're going somewhere with someone um talking to each other there may be a call or an invitation for some of you to connect with someone and go for a walk um some of you might be um Hmm. Ah, this this feels very much like you'll be uh, some of you are going to be in white okay i'm going to tell you that and i'm also picking up um native american i'm picking up native american okay okay wow codependency showed up in reverse this is beautiful a lot of you are like you're done the codependency stuff like you you it's done you've healed it you're past it this is beautiful this might be something that you wake up to over this weekend like you might have a situation and you say to yourself you know what i can codependency is basically like living your life without making choices for yourself okay you're doing it for other people not for yourself but you've got healthy choices here so i feel like addictions uh, are no longer going to be affecting like you'll maybe they've stopped but this weekend i feel like you're like whoa i just realized that i don't need to have this thing or this person place or thing i'm choosing me right so there's this kind of like wow i'm good i'm okay i've overcome this and this, this is i love this i love this energy i love that message all right a couple more messages here okay luck is on your side wow remember i said that um yesterday's reading the tables are turning um the wheel is turning in your favor you have the midas touch now virgo good things are coming now so be ready you deserve this 
Karma is on your side for all the good you've put out in the past. All your good deeds come back to you threefold generally, and it's coming back around and this is going to be a huge payoff. Okay. So this is, this is whatever you're doing over this weekend, right? Uh, I feel like everything is going to work out for you. Like you're just going to feel really good, feel real, like a lot better. Wow. And now you've got, so this is the wheel of fortune and the hangman. Um, look at things differently over the weekend and these feel like more of your advice and affirmations sometimes you have to let go of old notions even though you may feel stuck it's really just an illusion it's your mind playing tricks on you try to see a situation from a positive perspective or at least a different one because there's a silver lining in everything right a slight change in view will make your predicament easier Oh, wow. An emotional wish is being granted over this weekend. So something that has a strong emotional pull on your heart strings um, that you have been wanting that will have uh, a, an emotional effect on you in a positive way, I feel like that's going to be coming for you over this weekend. So I don't know specifically what it is that has an emotional effect on you that you've been wishing for and to change, but I feel like, I don't know if you've been rubbing a genie or something or um, the lantern, you're, it's coming true here for you. Um, and I feel like you're going to start feeling that. So like I said, we're, you know, on our way out from this Mercury retrograde. So, you know, things will begin improving, of course, but I think I'm going to leave your messages there. They were very specific, a um, whole bunch of different messages for the weekend. So just take what resonates if some of it does, and if it, the rest doesn't, let the weekend play out. For some of you, this might, um, the energy of all this might start over the weekend or it might be delayed going into the following week. So you can always come back and listen to this video, okay? Especially if you need guidance or if you, just to understand what's going on. And uh, yeah, again, the link underneath this video will be there to book a personal reading with me. I was like, why isn't anybody booking readings? <laughs> and because I've been lying and saying the <laughs> links under there. So, okay, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you have an awesome, awesome weekend and happy birthday, Virgo. And I will see you guys Sunday evening for your singles reading. So make sure you tick the notification bell so you're notified. All right, bye.